a word for our listeners. Octung Cthulhu is set in the 1930s and 40s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, a Nerds Domain Gaming Podcast. Join us each week as our investigators uncover the corruption of the mythos in World War II. Starring George Chimbles, Phil Durham, Rob Walker, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, and Scott Troiano. With Matt Quiet running the table as the keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed Nazi cultists await you just beyond this music. Hey everybody and welcome back to the Nerds of Main Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Hi. I'm Matt and I'm here with Shirley. Hi. And Rob. Having a good time. And George. Hi. And Phil. I seriously don't think I can hear myself. You're not Phil. (laughs) Yes, but I am, and I'd like to thank you for listening to this podcast, filling around with Phil Durham. Filling around. Uh, I like that. Filling air with Phil (laughs) Durham, and I'd like you to just tell me what you've been doing to fill time, Philip. Uh, I'm going to copyright that. Nerds Domain 2016. (laughs) That could be our new behinds name. Filling around. Filling the air. Filling, Filling dead air with Phil Durham. I'm just going to take this episode off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Phil, are you here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, Matt. It, it sounds George, like you, are you have also Jesse here? and Shirley. <laughs> yeah, George is here. He's right next to me. He's to my right. It's, no. <laughs> that puts a really big strain on you, Phil, because now you have to make up all these ridiculous stories. Like T-shirts. Yeah. We need to know about these T-shirts. No, his right is that way. What? You got it. That's, that's this guy right here. I get the I get the stories. Yeah, you don't want to tell me. Yeah, I don't know. I can tell stories. That's yeah, not a good idea. It's mostly because you can't do it. I can do it. Not uh, like George. Hey, I can tell really good stories. But Rob, that yeah. would be awesome. But that's not a good idea. Challenge. All right, me. challenge me. I dare you. So I oh, uh, here it goes. Segways two kind of things. And Phil and George. So <laughs> I would listen to an all George episode. Let's get him the rest of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I would like for you to role play all the characters <laughs> and the DM. I can already that would be so awesome. I can already hear okay. him doing Shirley. Okay. Hi, I'm Evie Evelyn Evelyn Evie. <laughs> well, no, because that's so, the, the so biggest thing for me is my my Kelly Seal for this stuff is names that sound alike. You know, people. I've got problems with you know Dylan Dermot Mulroney, whatever those guys' names are. That kind of stuff. <laughs> well, there's authors the Lee Dermot. Child, um, some other guy Childs. I don't know. They're just, you know what I'm talking about. Julia Child. <laughs> no, <laughs> they both write thrillers. It doesn't matter. But you know, I could. If you ask me right now, what what character is is Shirley playing? I would say I don't know something with an E and a V. I don't know. That's about what it. it is. Cool. Valentine. Valporion. Oh. Mr. So, October's oh, Vaporeon. Niece. Yeah, there's no L in that. Okay. Yeah, it's a Fifth time I Japanese so. man. I I didn't play in English a lot. Anyway, when I went, Evelyn and October. Thank you. Are, you had to look at your notes. Yes. Yeah. Because my problem. So we may have I told you about my girl condition. coming to the LARP. Okay. That's so relevant to our listener. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I know that. Can we focus on? Let's Wait. let's get oh, into okay. the game. So you, um, four, three of you, um, Carlos, actually Carlos and Evelyn. Mm-hmm. Who he does not know. No, the character does. The player. <laughs> Wait. Tangentially. What? Okay. So Carlos and Miss October. You have uh, returned to England after a long trek. Um, cool. Everything's good. You've been there maybe a week when uh, Blake, Brian Blake, shows up with the other soldiers. I think you guys are down one, aren't you? We had to kill by, we, one guy got killed. Yeah, I think one guy didn't make it. Listen to our previous episodes that we recorded a long time ago, and you'll know too, listeners. Post in our comments. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, with um, Blake and Robert? No. Everybody made it. Who's Robert? Uh, you mean William? Blake and William? Yes. It's a I do not show up with William. William is not there. Oh, right, because Blake was going to knife murder him. <laughs> <laughs> right in the face. So Blake, I, I didn't do you, that yet. Blake, would you like to explain what happened <laughs> to the other characters? Blake, where's William? 
That is not the voice your character uses. <laughs> no. can, can we can we hear the the voice that uh, her character uses? Yeah, George, let's, let's go in here. Yeah, then. no, this is a good idea. I'm down. Oh wait, you do you want me to do what she was just doing, or what her character actually sounds like? What her character actually sounds like. I have a very flat monotone, and I cannot resemble that. I know it was not what she was just doing. Though. The really poor Cockney. Hello. That's was. Why that don't you tell us about the death of Thomas? Why don't you tell us about I am about not from English. England. I'm not from England. I am not. I am not from England. I just make up my Oi. own accents. Oi, what's your accent, eh? I accent you with the wrong things altogether. Let's let's do this. Those are so Blake. really good. But before Shirley punches us, maybe we should move along. What happened, Blake? <laughs> um, so, uh, <clears throat> uh, as we were trying to escape, um, William and I and the other soldiers, uh, <clears throat> William uh, communicated that it became clear that he was in a place where he felt he was not going to make it. So after we made it across the Swiss border... Yes. After we made it across the Swiss border, he um, did not feel that he could make it to France alive. So he wanted us to drop him <clears throat> at a hospital. Um, and the it had been, become clear to us through an encounter that it was entirely possible that um, being detained by the Swiss could have us um, deported back to Germany. So <clears throat> we made the decision that if or I allowed him to make the decision that if he wanted, if he felt his best chances to survive were to go to a hospital, we left him in a hospital in... Switzerland? Well, (laughs) (laughs) yes, I was trying to recall the city. Go back to the last episode and... (laughs) Switzerlandville town? Geneva. You can can post that in the comments. It wasn't Geneva, it was another bigger town, but it doesn't really matter. In 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 fill-in-the-blank of city in Switzerland. Um... So we dropped him at a hospital there, and then the rest of us continued on because I did not want to risk any other party members as being possibly detained. So it is my hope that he will make it back to us. But he was left at a hospital? Yes. How grave were his wounds? Um, enough that I believed that his assessment was probably accurate, that he um, would likely not make it. I'm not I'm not enough of a medicine man to know for sure, but his it was a gut shot. Wasn't it? Or was it in his leg? It was a gut shot. His gut shot was not proceeding well. And the the continual moving and the time it took, you know, for us to get there. He was left in burn, by the way. Yes, in burn. There we go. He was not burned, but he was left in burn. Is that a joke? Yes. Carlos stares at you. (laughs) Gallows humor. I, I find it where I can. I don't recall what we took from the house, but he didn't have any items that we need. Does he? No, you guys specifically took all of them. Okay. Carlos and Evelyn. And he was a little out of it on morphine. He wouldn't know anyways. What about um, Albrecht? Is he still kicking? or He uh, is on a separate assignment in another place doing a thing. But he came back with us, though, and was okay, right? No, Albrecht never, was never with you. Not for this mission at all. He wasn't? No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we've been missing Jesse for a little bit. Yeah, uh, with with uh, their personal things going on. So, and we all miss Jesse. We do all miss Jesse. If you're listening, Aww, Jesse, we miss Jesse. you, buddy. He's not listening, but he he yeah. appreciates it. Yeah, <laughs> he should have called spade a spade. I know he's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> we can at least pretend for our listeners that Pulling we listen to our, our podcast. Homies. I was just you do. Literally, I was thinking that. <laughs> well, then say it faster. So, um, about um, two weeks. About a week and a half after Brian uh, shows back up, um, there is a letter delivered to, um, would it have been individual letters? Uh, Probably one to the group. One to the group. Uh, There's a letter delivered uh, addressed to the four of you, including Albrecht, but Albrecht obviously is still on assignment somewhere else doing other things with stuff. Um, It is specifically from... William Thomas, Dr. William Thomas, he signs it Dr. William Thomas to inflate his importance. Um, He's a doctor, isn't he? Well, it's a formal correspondence, so, I mean, he would have. Um, It says, uh, dearest companions, during the time of my recovery, I came across some interesting information. There was a German fellow brought in, in with severe wounds across his face. 
It appears as if he was assaulted by a large dog or wolf. Uh, He was attempting to flee from the horrors he had witnessed. He claimed he had witnessed Jews being fed to to strange dogs. He said the dogs were bipedal in nature and the and of the vicious of the vicious temperament. It sounds very familiar to myself. A vicious temperament. That is not what it says here. <laughs> I know, but you know, and to uh, and to uh, I expect uh, to our group. <laughs> with a, with a little luck, we can beat the season and perhaps confront our terror from the past. Innsbruck is where the home of the knocked is where the home of the knocked wolf of knocked wolf. Wow, this was this, you wrote this quickly. I Inns- told you I wrote it quickly. Yeah. Innsbruck is the home of knocked wolf. Your esteemed colleague, Doctor William Thomas. I told you I read it quickly. Really? And quickly. it was on my phone. That doesn't no. make it any better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least I didn't get any auto cucumbers. I was, so, yeah, nothing bad. So does he want us to meet him there? That seems to be the intent. Was, of where the was the message. postmark? What is he doing uh, his postmark is Burn. Okay. I thought you left him in Burn. Yeah. That's where the postmark is, so he must still be there. It, w- he would, it would have taken at least this long for him to have healed. Where is Innsbruck? Austria. Well, I guess Germany. Does our organization or any of our friend organizations have any uh, people in Bern? If you put some time and effort into, into it, I'm sure you could find someone, yes. Okay. I want to do that and get a... How long would it take to get a message to them? Um, And get one back probably three or four days. Uh, I want to know if... Uh, the doctor's still there. Okay. Um, I will communicate to the group that that's my plan to okay. do, do that. Okay. So are are you guys going to wait on that information? Do you have anything else you want to do in the meantime? Since it's not clear to me from the letter about where to meet him. I'd like to I'm heal my sanity. That would be awesome. <laughs> well, that would be awesome. Unfortunately, um, actually, uh, everybody except William. Ha, uh, can roll uh, D six and e- take and gain that much sanity back. Also, if you were wounded, um, you had two. We'll call it three weeks um, on the mend. If you wanted to be a- assisted by a doctor, let me know what doctor you're talking to, and then we can go from there. I, Wait for physical wounds. You're talking about? Yes, I've been shot, so I'd like to see you know an army surgeon or something. Okay. So you said the D6 was for sanity, right? Yes. So, uh, George, you can roll 2D3 for any week that you feel you would have stayed under that doctor's care. So you've you've got three weeks now. Mm-hmm. So you can roll 2D, 2D3 for each week that you would have been under a doctor's care. Um... I've taken some wounds, but they, I think they're pretty light. Okay. I can't remember what they were. I don't remember uh, either. You can still be uh, you can still heal a D three uh, uh, from resting each week, so you would get three D three. If you wanted a doctor to look at it for each week you're under his care, you would get an additional. I'll, D3. I'll just rub some. Dirt Is that in what it. mine is? What. You? Is that what I'm rolling? Yeah, you'll be getting. Did you three, just say you'll rub some dirt on it? Three yeah. d- instances where <laughs> you roll two. <laughs> Not <deep>. sincerely, <laughs> but just. Yeah. All right, I got at least one, two, and I only have four. Four. You only have four hit points. No, I only have four wounds. Okay. I'm only down four, I should say. I don't hear anything else, so... Do we get debriefed about any information that we brought back? Um, not right away. By the time that uh, the letter arrives, you have had a small bit of... You've, you've had a debriefing about your um, encounter. Um, your contact there that I wrote down, but I don't seem to have now. It's not Gretchen. It's not Nalani. Oh, these are old, old notes. Agent Patterson? Yes, Patterson. Uh, Patterson tells you that um, he was hoping that you would have found uh, the White Wolf. Um, but, you know, that, unfortunately that's not the case. He understands that things went badly and you did what you could. Um, 
it's a lot of information, a lot to decipher, or at least try to decipher. A lot of it seems to be um, psychotic gibberish is what it's being called, but, you know, they're going to look into it. Um, by the end of the third week, they they tell you that they've got partial formulas. It looks like formulas that were being worked on and reworked. Um, it looks like whatever is going on here is some sort of science mixing with the mythos, um, which in and of itself is scary. But there's a lot of references to Atlantis. What about the... Did I get back a sample of the power source for... There's a, there's a crystal, a blue yeah. crystal in there. Um, it's not anything they've ever seen before. Okay. Um, it, it seems to emanate its own power. Um, and the gun itself, because you did bring back one of the big guns, seems to... The, the, the steel that the gun is made out of seems to have been reinforced with the crystal of some, some in some um, metallurgical way they're not familiar with it would take some it might even take like instructions or watching someone else how to watching someone else do it to figure out how to actually do this this what's happened with this gun but um uh, three men have been put in the infirmary trying to fire it it's so powerful like straight dislocating shoulders and breaking collarbones So it's a lot of information. They're going to take a long time to decipher it, but that's the gist of it. In the three or four days um, <coughs> that I'm waiting for a res- uh, to find out if we get a response from the contact in Burn, I'm going to go to the church. Okay. Well, what are you doing at the church? Well, confess. Okay. And worship. Okay. And see if there are any uh, instructions or notes. Um, did you give a, a debriefing, I assume, when you got back? To... The church? No. No, okay. And let, <clears throat> do, it, do I know someone in London that I would give that to? Yes, there is a contact you could do that. You probably actually gave it to somebody on the way back from in France. France being a Catholic ish yes. uh, country. Yes, I would have done that. Okay. Um then you um yeah, you confess you don't you don't have any the church in, in England, there's not a lot of Catholic churches. Um the church in England doesn't seem to know much about what is going on, um, but they'll pass along any information you need. Um the night before you expect a response from burn, you um, do find a letter under your door. Um, It's um, written in a code that you understand. It's just real brief though. Um, Essentially says continue with the, the um, section Um, report back any findings. Okay. Thank you. Not a problem. So uh, you you do wait a couple of days. You get a response back. Um, William has been found in. He, he is in burn at the hospital, still on the mend. Rob, you are still hurt, right? No. I mean, by the time we're done healing, I'll be good. Okay. He's still on the mend. The doctors are going to release him probably sometime soon. You could go that direction and meet up with him. That might. That, I mean, that's, that's an option. I would have probably and, written, written in to advise on what their, what their intent is to meet me or to... Yeah, right there. Um, and uh, the 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 guide is or the 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 question is whether you or not you're meeting him. That was he was passing along the information and leaving up to you whether or not you're meeting him there. He figures it essentially sounds like he figures it's better to stay there and have you come to him and then come all the way back and then go all the way back out. This letter that was addressed to us did it arrive to us sealed? Yes. Did we read it in the presence of anyone else from the agency? No. But you said you were trying to ascertain what he was looking for, so. Right. So, yeah. yeah <laughs> you would have. I'm, I'm a little surprised that no one read it before they gave it to us. But, yeah. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. No, I think that then obviously we would have let superiors know. That what, that I guess I would want to know what our superiors. Uh, um, Agent Patterson um, brings you in for a meeting about it. Like the three of you. 
Um, it has you all sit down and um, pulls out a map of the area between Switzerland and Innsbruck. Um, and this is uh, so the um, section M has tasks for each of you. Um, these will come up from time to time. We'll ask you to do things and you know, go on missions. You are also given an independent nature in what you choose to follow. You are our most experienced field officers at this point. So if you choose to follow up with this situation, um, if you feel that going to Innsbruck, where Noctwolf is active, furthers what we're looking to do, or at least furthers your own goals within fighting the mythos and the Nazis, then by all means go. We can give you as much intelligence as we have, but beyond that, we may not have a whole lot we can do. I'm all in favor of it. I would like to see the intelligence. Okay. Before we make a decision. Um, he The map he starts putting down um, markers on, like um, um, British pounds, not pounds, they're change. Shillings. Shillings, there you go. Thank you. He starts marking some places. Um, these are going to be your harder, hard um, fortified parts. Uh, the Nazis don't expect any kind of movement from Switzerland, so there is a guard on the border, but it won't be too um, too strong. Um, they know that the Allies won't proceed through Switzerland or through, through a neutral country, unlike what they're probably going to do in the lowlands. Um, with it- Italy to the south, they don't expect anything from that direction, so their focus is on the, the northern part of their border with France and then into um, the lowlands, and, and that's really where the strength of their force sits. And with their lack of concern for the Russians, it's really going to be... Or I'm sorry, the Soviets. Yeah, the Soviets. Um, their focus is really on France. So, getting past those should be pretty good, pretty easy. There are going to be patrols. I think you experienced some of those when you were in um, Germany before. They may be a little more active, maybe a little more dangerous. If you go, though, we're not going to be able to send any soldiers with you. It would be you three. So keep that in mind. There would be no... We can't... This is a personal um, interest piece. I don't want to send soldiers for that. Does this not further your cause? It does, perhaps, if the intelligence is good. But we don't have any indication that the intelligence is good. Do you think that Thomas has been co-opted? I I have no doubt of Thomas's sincerity and um, dedication. I just we we don't have an agent in the field that has notified us of any of the information he's given us. You do have an agent in the field, Thomas. You've stumped me. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, that just was like, oh well. <laughs> I got nothing. Um, the look on the GM's face when he just <laughs> when he just responded with that was absolutely brilliant because he just just recently called us all the top investigators, or the top <laughs> specialists in the field, and he's just like, we we don't have anybody out there, and they're like, well, you have one of your top men out that says this. Um, if if your concern is that Thomas has been co opted, other than Thomas, we have no one else there, so we are relying on his information, but this is also not part of our push. Our push is to get information. Innsbruck is deep behind the lines. And if if it is the hotbed that Thomas seems to think it is, it could it could be much more dangerous than what we would expect. Do you have an alternative mission for us if we do not do this one? I'm sure we could find something. But nothing so, planned. Nothing planned, no. We so you said that we're your top four. Yes. And yeah, you're going five. to be... You're willing to risk your top five on this most dangerous mission, but not anyone beyond that. I'm willing to allow you to follow up with this with Thomas. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, 
I will look to you, uh, <coughs> Miss October. And why would? Because you wanted more information, and now you've been oh. given more information, and you haven't um, really decided what you want to do. Okay. Well, that's a solid answer. I just you stumped me. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that's going around. Well played. Um, is this going to help us in any way? Yes. In what way? We will be rescuing one of our comrades uh, at the very least. We will, at the very best, be recovering more information about Knockwolf and perhaps being able to strike a crippling blow on the eve of a terrible war. If the information is accurate, then we could obviously, I think, do a lot of good. If it's inaccurate... I suppose we will have potentially gained at least the knowledge of where it is not. I just have a question. Um, and Carlos, is your personal feelings about the knocked wolf getting in the way? What, you don't like Thomas or something? Is that why you don't want to go to his aid? That's not what I asked. No, that's what I asked. No, my feelings of the knocked wolf are not involved in this. This is war. Perhaps you're worried that we are putting our lives at risk. Every time we go into the field, we are putting our lives at risk. It is immaterial to what we should decide to do or do not. Well, we barely made it back last time, so. And most likely there will be one mission where we don't come back at all. I have fully accepted this reality. I'm sure that Blake has. Have you? Well, if I'm questioning it, I suppose not. That's a question we all have to answer for ourselves. For myself, I'm willing to risk my life to recover William Thomas and to further our mission against the knocked wolf and the forces of these fascist pigs. Blake, how do you feel about this mission? Think. What do you think about this mission? <clears throat> I was waiting to see how you reacted, and I see you have doubts. As do I. <clears throat> um, I want to support our team. I want to support Carlos. I want to support Thomas. So I am behind going as far as burn and meeting Thomas and then making further decisions there as to what to do next. I think that's a good idea. Carlos? Carlos nods. Shirley, can you roll sanity for me? While Carlos is talking about the <clears throat> potential deaths that could come from this, you're reminded of a story um, once that um, your uncle told you. He got, on the very rare occasion that he drank at all, don't, why are you rolling the d6? Because I, I failed. Did, I didn't tell you to roll anything yet. All right. Um, on one of the few very, very rare occasions that he drank, he got rip-roaring drunk and then crying drunk. It, it descended very quickly. And he told you of the horrors of the trenches and what his comrades went through and um, that that he was lucky to have come back at all. Um, as, uh, he was even more lucky to have come back with his hands, his feet, his legs, his arms with no real sincere injury other than, you know, a, a wound here and there, but no dismemberments. Um, he tells you of, um, he knew of towns in England where they all signed up together, all got put into the same unit together, and when that unit was decimated, that town no longer had men. So the the concept of what Carlos is telling you is kind of flooding back that your uncle went through the same thing and this might have been what he was concerned about mm -hmm. when he when he left the group okay I you, mean I feel like it's very real for me especially with Carlos's face face well that's just an airplane accident <laughs> right Carlos yeah sure so uh, okay so you guys head to burn um, in the meantime, uh, why don't we have 
all of you. You've already healed. You've done that. Uh, choose a skill that you did succeed at. Roll to see if you can increase that. Just one? Just one. Roll what? Roll to see if you can increase it. So you want to roll above it. If you roll above it, you roll a d10 and add that to it. And then go ahead and mark or erase that mark. So I'll mark on that box. Of course not. William, no. You didn't learn anything from your... Uh, New. Dodge. Is that what you... You didn't roll dodge. It looked so low. I probably could have, but... I got better at my machine gun. Hey, there you go. You weren't doing so great with this last machine gun. Yeah, I was. Are you, yeah, you were. They did, no, I did roll badly in one combat, I think, but... We will wait so for as Phil. they're doing this research with this gun that practically kills people when they fire it. Hold on a second. Oh. Phil, uh, we are rolling on one of the skills that we succeeded on um, If you six, if you uh, to see if it increases. So we'll try and roll above it on a percentile if you do add a D10 to it. Go ahead. What was your question? Um, so the question is, um, the British... Evelyn's very curious about the research that's going in behind this gun because obviously n no mere mortal man can handle well, firing the gun. You so do remember the big bear of men. Like, these were... Supernatural beings. They weren't supernatural beings, but, like, imagine, like... Well, this gun was mounted to an airplane, too. Well, no, no, you have a machine gun from one of the, oh, the so soldiers as yeah, well. Yeah, one of the machine um, guns. The, the machine gun it was being carried by men that were literally like giant bricks running around. Imagine your brother, but only tall. Imagine John Cena, but he's German and has a machine gun. Honestly, imagine Brock Lesnar. It was a bunch imagine of Brock Imagine Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. You mean Dolph Lundgren? Imagine Braun Strowman. No, because Dolph Lundgren's only five feet tall. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, he's like 5'10". He's like my height. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but Sammy He looks <laughs> big compared to what? Sylvester Stallone because Sylvester Stallone's like 5'3". Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's the truth. Uh, but these were like near seven foot tall Ubermen. Uh, okay. Is what the Germans would call them. I mean, they were hulking, huge men. You know, roid freaks. Juiced right. out. Juice Got heads. It. But, like, where'd they get that juice from? Cthulhu. Rob, go ahead and roll a d6 for me. Go ahead and take that in wounds. I hope you took six. Wait, is he texting you combats that you guys are involved in right now? No, no. This was just one thing he's doing. It's the only thing he's going to get to do. Did he jump out of a window? No. <laughs> no. No. No, I hear that nearly kills people. No, I twisted an ankle. I think I took two points of damage. On yeah, but Burn almost died from it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you guys head to Burn. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, Burn, Switzerland. As God. opposed to the individual Burn that we were referencing yeah, earlier. Yeah, that's it's complicating things uh you had to burn switzerland um where you um approached the hospital that dr thomas has been at or that was left at you assume it's the same William one. thomas uh that was an evie impression <laughs> <laughs> or evelyn or whatever her name is evelyn <laughs> evelyn thomas <laughs> well, they're married I now. I don't like know. Igor or, yeah. Igor or something. Good. No, night. Igor. Igor. Yes, uh, it's uh, Igor see, right there. So uh, you he, you arrive at the hospital. Um, Thomas is uh, Doctor Thomas is back in his room. That they said that he was close to being released, but he has been bandaged up for some reason. Um, where? Uh, I don't know. Rob, where? You tell me. My leg. Your leg. Mm -hmm. The right leg. Right I leg. poke it. <laughs> I screech in agony. It's real, guys. <laughs> I, uh, uh, what happened? He hurt his leg. Carlos? Yes, Evelyn. I didn't ask you. His leg is hurt. Are there any doctors around or any nurses or anything? We're not hospital. <laughs> yeah, there are doctors all over. Why not, like in our vicinity. Like. Um, there's probably a nurse in or nearby your room. All right. Is there anyone else in the room with us? No. So I'm going to point at the door to close the door. It's for someone to close the door. Blake. Aren't you standing at the door? 
Yes. <laughs> I kind of give you a quizzical look. I just nod at you. I Are we kinda playing keep kind of do this and then I do shut the door, but I'm I'm on I'm on I'm I'm apprehensive. Like hand on your gun apprehensive? Not on my gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm but, in a hospital unarmed, clearly. So it's not like I have a whole lot. I still don't trust you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I was, uh, I, I told you about the gentleman in the letter. Yes. Um, he, he was on his way out the other day and I kind of snuck and followed. And, uh. I got myself in a bad situation. Were you bitten by a dog? No. I was... Um, it, he... So he was down in the alley when I was following him. He was looking really conspicuous. Or suspicious. Wrong words. Um, <laughs> clearly a doctor. Auto um, cucumber? Auto cucumbered again. So he was he was looking really suspicious. Um, he um, turned around and started yelling at me and I didn't quite get all that he was yelling but he was clearly upset that i was following he um charged at me and we got in a little bit of a fitzy cups battle and i mean before i could even like talk to the guy or explain or, or figure out what's going on because i wanted more information is really what i was going for and um he like howled and then um so i freaked out and i started kicking at him i knocked him down he Reached at my leg, tore up my leg, and went off running. So this man had claws? Yeah. Well. How is your wound? Is it healing? Yeah, it's healing. I'm going to roll folklore, which I'm not trained in whatsoever. Okay. I mean, I failed, but I got a 28. What what are you looking for there? Uh, if you get clawed up by a werewolf, do you turn into a werewolf? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, as far as you know, if you get clawed up by a werewolf, no, it's only if you get bitten. Does Blake wear a cross? Yes. What material is it made out of? Is it silver? It would almost be a fair assumption that due to the nature of your belief, it would be. In Central America, mm-hmm. oh. did <laughs> there, we didn't think that silver had anything to do with what was going on. Just salt, right? Right. Okay. And, and that whole adventure where we did use silver, that never happened. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. That didn't okay. happen. Yeah. That was an uh, alternate <laughs> reality. <laughs> yeah. Um But if we're going for the knocked wolf and you guys have witnessed previously someone that had turned, in, turned, turned into, into a, a werewolf, yeah. Well you saw it too at the at the castle, right? Or at Iron the, Man Wolf. Nope. There was no werewolves. There were no werewolves. No werewolves. Um Would I have had any knowledge prior to this i know i would have known of the werewolf but i would have known that silver yeah that's the thing you would know okay um i don't know that my cross would be but um i may have had some silver bullets prepared okay i'm gonna reach over and unload your gun without saying anything yeah uh, I am going to try to stop you from doing that. <laughs> okay, so you slap my hand away. All right. Uh, Carlos? Uh, yes? What are you attempting to do? The silver you have. Give it to me. Uh, <clears throat> I have I'll a silver ring. Touch it to him. T- touch your leg. He starts seething and... No, I, no, no. nothing <laughs> happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This is not my area of specialty. What are you trying to... This is your area of specialty. Can you not guess? Roll a cult, Shirley. Yeah, wolf. No. this He just... <laughs> <laughs> he 
Use full sentences also, please. Pass. Uh, they're probably hinting at the fact that he could have been uh, turned into a werewolf. No, I know that. Okay. But I'm like, that just doesn't make sense. It doesn't happen like that. Well, now you, now you know that since you succeeded. <laughs> <sighs> For sure. Cat's getting he on the soundboard. He would have to be infected with the blood or saliva of the animal. Okay. What what else did you l- gather from this German? That was the most I got before he was released. And prior to you following him, was he uh, amicable with you? We weren't on the best of terms, but what caused the agitation between you? I don't I don't know. That was the concern I had. I don't understand. I mean, why why he would share this information or talk with me at all? It in some cases it seemed like posturing like um he was like you know we're going to tear you down in other cases it was like terror terrified and scared and i mean the guy was really nonsensical in a lot of cases it was really out of whack do do you feel like he was trying to draw you to innsbruck i don't i don't think so cuz i don't even think he like when it when there was a mention i don't even think he realized that it was something that he like it wasn't like he caught that he had said it. It was more um, like in passing, and it just kind of slipped. Do you feel like this gentleman was even sane enough to be even telling the truth? Why should we believe him? So, we don't have many leads on the Noctwolf currently. I mean... As far as I know, I don't know if you guys caught any intelligence from the information we gathered. This is the best we have to go on. And if it's a, if it's true, considering what we've seen, I wouldn't want to discredit it. How is your current wound? And I can get around. Can you fight? Can you, how much damage did you take? I took six. Uh, it, you're going to be walking in pain. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. For Even- w- Sorry, go ahead, Carlos. Even if this is a thing we want to pursue. I mean, I would have had first aid from a hospital. Yeah, but even... The, oh, yeah, I guess that's a good point. Roll D3. Okay, I got two back. Okay. It would be unwise to launch an assault against Innsbruck until you are fully healed. I concur with Carlos. As do I. And that would be just about a week then. Yeah, another week. Yeah. Okay, so you, you guys are going to wait out for a week. I would try to do some research on lore. Okay. Uh, I think I think okay. we all got things we want to do while he's healing. <laughs> <laughs> um so Maybe you in a cult library. You can go to the the You'd be local. wanting to look for something in Latin then. Yeah, do you speak, it's it's Swiss do you Swiss Sprakenz Latin Latin? Sprakenz Latin. Si senor. <laughs> yeah, that's what Latin sounds like. <laughs> and all the German Germans and said da. Patri. <laughs> I mean, I would accompany her if that's what her goal was because I do speak Latin. No, you wouldn't. You'd stay in the hospital because you're in you're the right. hospital. Care. Dude. Yeah, damn it. Dun, dun, dun. She can bring books to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. We can we can collaborate. You can like hold them in your Why hands. Why did you and bring stuff? me cool. this book on ancient gardens? <laughs> <laughs> gardens? I thought that was gnomes. We're on the whole wrong topic still. Where are you at? This is not... This is not the... This is not troll the hunter. For. No, this is so, not troll hunter. Um, yeah, you guys are going to spend another week in Innsbruck. I think that's a good way to... Pa- or a good no, place to... S- not in Innsbruck. In, Burn. Yeah, in Bern. Burn. It's a good place to stop, and we'll get back to this next time on... Nerds to make percent masks of Nyarlathotep. Tap. I really did not bring up the audio. Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to get really good at this one day. I am that brought to you today. by Mask of Nyarlathotep presents Mads Domain. <laughs> and that will do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us on facebook.com forward slash nerdsdomain, on Twitter at nerdsdomain, or over at our site, nerdsdom.com. Be sure to sign up for the newsletter while you're there. 
you can head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. We want to thank Josh Shop for our music. Don't forget, you can support us at patreon.com forward slash nerds domain. And check out our shirts at slashloot.com.